March 29, Friday of the third week of Lent. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than this. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher, you are right in saying, He is one and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself, is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord Hear, O Israel, the Hebrew imperative Shema that precedes the statement of the great commandment is a very important call. Obedience to God's commands presupposes listening and understanding. Without attentive listening, how can one internalize what is being asked and carry it out correctly? Unfortunately, listening is difficult. Rather than listen, we prefer to talk, rationalize, or justify. Listening puts us on the receiving end and makes us vulnerable. But paradoxically, only those who listen can become good leaders. Bad leaders do not listen. For them, leading means dictating, commanding, or imposing. Good leaders hear what their constituents feel, need, or desire, and then act accordingly to meet those ends. Good leaders hear what their constituents feel, need, or desire, and then act accordingly to meet those needs. When God commands us, God first of all wants us to listen and understand. Do you readily give a listening ear to others? Do you listen to what God wants of you?